right thursday morning let's put some numbers on the board shall we long trade gonna get in manually order filled uh two contracts first target 12 ticks second target half then filled. goes to break even there we go and there was a second target or i get stopped at break even plus one tick so um let me just explain what this is. So I am trading Ninza's um, rev out scalping indicator. This is my, I believe, third video uh, trading it live with great success. You can see to your left amazing signals. Uh, so far this morning had one a losing trade, eight winning trades. A couple of them hit, uh, well, more than a couple actually hit the Stop second film. target. Um, I'm going to be uh, recording a few trades here. Um, even if we get to 11 o'clock, I don't like trading uh, too much past 11 o'clock. I take a break until 2 p.m. Uh, just there was more stuff going on. But we've been having some nice action today. So today might be this kind of day where it's absolutely okay to trade. Um, during lunch so i was asked this question uh would i filter the signals of this indicator and for most indicators the answer is probably yes you should um however the the accuracy of of this indicator is is uh, such that uh you know filtering i mean obviously every time you filter you're going to miss some winning trades that's that's expected um uh, However, uh, it pays because you miss some losing trades. I mean, that's the logic. Uh, the accuracy of this indicator is such that uh, it's, it's a real waste to try and filter it. But I am running an experiment. I am filtering this fairly uh, smaller, let's say, time frame of uh, Ninzarenko with a higher brick size. So I'm trying to see if I took only shorts on a smaller time frame when the larger a uh, brick size is negative or only long trades with a smaller time frame here when the larger brick size chart is is positive so i am trying that and um i will explain later i will show you the charts i'm looking at i will explain to you what i'm looking for and how to do this for example um, if you see that short um, that was filtered by a higher time frame of, of the brick size uh, being positive uh, but again the, the issue is just that uh, there are so many good signals um, and you would miss a whole bunch of them if you tr if you're gonna start filtering but nevertheless I, I guess filtering makes sense uh, just for risk management um, a point of view but let's see if I can catch maybe one or two more trades and then um, uh, kind of show you the charts I'm looking at by the way before I forget uh, make sure you subscribe and look in the description for discounts some of those discounts could be substantial and above the regular uh, discounts offered by Ninza so uh, leave a like and subscribe I will be making um, a lot of videos featuring this indicator and others so uh, don't miss it Order so, um, there was a short here, but it was an example of why filtering might not work. You see that short all the way on the left there? Uh, this was filtered because the higher time frame was bullish. Uh, so now this short uh, is consistent with the higher time frame uh, being bearish. But look at that amazing short trade all the way on top of that swing. So uh, that's what I mean. Because this indicator is so precise... Um, I'm not really sure if um, if filtering is really Stop, uh, necessary. So uh, yeah, just <laughs> just super impressive. Let's see if it can uh, hit my target there. Very impressive price action so far, considering the time. Most of the time, I don't like trading target at this time. Filled. But here you go. Um, yeah, uh, let's see if maybe one more trade and then i'm going to show the the higher time frame lower time frame uh, charts side by side and explain i guess the concept of 
a, a filtering with a higher time frame. All right, so let's um, let's get that long. Order filled. Again, same exact thing. Twelve ticks for a target. Um, yeah, again, still very nice price movement today. So today is the kind of day we're trading during lunch. Is okay. Here is first target. If it's gonna come higher, I'm just gonna maybe drag my stop manually. Because I want to kind of end it here and, and talk about the whole uh, filtering idea. Is it going to hit me? Is it going to hit the target? Mm. Backing away. Come on, almost there. Come on. <laughs> I think it's gonna back away. I don't want to give back the whole thing. That would be a shame. Come on, just a few ticks. They're trying, but um, I think they're gonna take me out at break even on the second half. And I don't want to give back the full thing. You know what, I'm going to start dragging my stop here. Hopefully they hit my target, if not, at least I have something for that second half. Maybe not to be. <laughs> stop, yeah. Phil. Alright, okay. Um, let me put uh, the other two charts uh, side by side. Give me one minute. Alright, so let me explain what is it that I was doing. So. Uh, one of the questions I was asked is, um, is there a way to filter uh, some signals? Because as we all know, um, on a smaller time frames, a lot of indicators obviously have losing trades. I mean, this one also, there was no indicator that has no losing trades. Um, but, um, it, so, I mean, yes, I was trying to think, is there a way to, to filter signals? The answer is, Yes, the problem is this indicator is so accurate that um, filtering it just means you're going to be missing a whole bunch of, um, of good trades. Now, yes, when you filter, you will always miss some good trades. And the idea is um, you're being more conservative and you're trying to cut down on losing trades. Makes perfect sense completely and in my own trading I do use different filters to filter out um, different uh, market situations let's say um, the, the problem here is that I mean look at this from a short to a long uh, and this short starts here right uh, so this is the smaller time frame uh, but uh, here is probably a losing trade would I hit I'm gonna assume I did not hit uh, a profit target here um, so this is what we'll circle back to this one here at around like 1018 about right 1018 so I made everything much larger so that you know if you are as blind as I am you'll be able to just tell uh, what's going on here uh, so uh, but you know kind of looking at this okay so this is a loss for sure but look at the fairly quick rip now this is a loss I'm not saying it's not it is a loss fairly quick reversal and look at the move down <laughs> right so uh it's it's just um uh, even the the losing uh, trades which of course losing signals this indicator obviously has um it, it's just the accuracy is so spectacular that um <laughs> that i mean we can try and filter it so i was thinking of filtering with a higher time frame so this was my idea uh, filtering with a higher time frame so let's go back to that uh, losing trade the losing long over here right around like 10 18 right right around 10 18 10 19 so if we take a look now at the higher time frame 
Let's take a look at the higher time frame. Let's go back. So what was happening at 10.18 on a higher time frame? Well, the higher time frame went negative at 10.08, I guess. Went negative at 10.08. And by 10.18, it's still negative. 10.18, uh, the signal is still bearish on a higher time frame. What does that mean? That means that ideally on a shorter time frame, we want to take short trades only. So we skip this long and we take this beautiful short, right? Uh, so, so that's, I guess, one way of, of doing it. And again, the, the issue, and it's not really an issue, but just uh, the way this indicator is, uh, the, the quality of trades, the accuracy of trades is such that, I mean, I guess, yes, you could benefit from filtering uh, when market conditions are really choppy maybe it will kind of just keep you looking um, at one direction but um, it's just uh, so here is a long for example now, I'm not sure um, so the low see so the larger time frame the larger time frame went long at around 1116 right somewhere here so around 1116 uh, and so then here this long would have been a valid long and uh you would not take this short which would have been a winning trade anyway right so so look you can filter sure it, it might help it might uh but just with this indicator be prepared to just miss a lot of uh, uh winning trades and if it would frustrate you then maybe filtering this particular indicator uh, might not be for you because I mean the moves are just so amazing that um, you know on a larger uh, time frame larger brick size here it just it just stays you know it doesn't give you a short it, it stays uh, a positive so you you would always be looking for longs on a smaller uh, time frame all right so just about 230 here uh, another amazing day of signals uh, by the way about scalping I full disclosure missed this one missed this one I uh, just started to record a bit late and uh, got busy and just couldn't quite catch those uh, but we will go over the um, uh, the signals for today they were just just phenomenal with this indicator I'm telling you so uh, now, because I like only the first uh, signal in the sequence, um, I'm not going to be taking another short unless there was a nice retracement up first. Uh, that's just uh, uh, my approach. waiting for a long signal so yeah so overall my opinion about uh, filtering this indicator to be honest I really don't see the need to I do not see the need of uh, filtering this indicator Order yeah, filled. There we go. Now there is a long. All right. Should be a piece of cake. Target stop oh. filled. All right. Just have our position. Uh, other one broke even. It's all right. Uh, but but you see, I mean, just the accuracy here is. It's even. <laughs> I'm not even that excited anymore because <laughs> it just gets to be so predictable. Um, so of course now I'm not going to be taking a second uh, long unless there's a retracement. I just want to show you, um, like from the beginning of the day even, 9.30 around. So 9.30, once they open up, I just kind of wait. So I'm looking here 
and they are short so not interested in shorts at first go for the long just like out of the gate boom you know and even though I say it's a scalping indicator look at that look at that this is what from from around like maybe 43 45 uh, this is a thousand dollars per contract move right there first 10 minutes boom thousand dollars per contract I mean just phenomenal but that's by the way why I don't take right like additional trades even though this would have been actually though to be honest I don't I don't remember if I took it but I would have because there is a retracement but this is enough for a first target uh, and then a short and now look look at the short look at that that's another like I don't know six hundred dollars per contract maybe this is probably a loss I don't remember if I took it I don't remember the trades um, I don't know but then this look at that short look at that short and here comes along so I mean uh, like all day today nice short <laughs> amazing long amazing short <laughs> amazing long I mean it's just doesn't stop right nice quick long nice short and um, and now we're just with the longs but again I would not be taking like this long uh, if there is a nice retracement and another long, um, then I would definitely uh, consider. But um, this is just just the accuracy. It is just stunning, stunning. Okay. Order filled. There is a short, and I said because of this huge retracement, even though it's not. The first short um, we had a huge retracement so uh, in this case a short is absolutely fine stop filled and okay well just got that um, that first target and out on the second half so it is uh, getting late so 320 that's pretty much my the latest I go uh, so something to keep in mind I guess maybe for next week is to possibly um, work the money management in such a way that my second half still has some room because uh, some moves are just uh, just tremendous just amazing moves and uh, for example if my stop kind of stayed here instead of going to break even this would be like an amazing uh, run down and, and the same with the long well this is not as amazing uh, but um, there were some tremendous moves today so it seems that maybe I'm leaving too much on the table by getting just stopped uh, too early on that second half so that's something to consider um, Anyway, everyone, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, please look in the description for any kind of uh, special discounts. Uh, thank you, and I'll uh, see you in the next video.